That is super cool. That is so cool! What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Dyson Sphere program. So, last episode, we started making our new Mega Factory Planet. Uh, and that's what we're going to continue doing. However, we have identified the power problem. There is a power problem. So, I think that it is time for us to start doing the research in order to get this artificial star going. I need it. We need it in our lives, and I want to see how it works. So, hopefully. Um, hopefully in this episode we can get to it. I don't know if we can because I know this requires like all kinds of crazy stuff. And I think we're going to have to go somewhere in order to get... Wait, hold on a second. It requires this. We have everything for that. But this, I think this is what's going to fuel this, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that's my guess. So uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to queue up the research, activate that one. Uh, we'll go ahead and cue that one and cue that one. Let those do their things. Now, uh, it's going to go super fast for a little bit because we have like a, a lot of it stored up, but it's going to start slowing down. So, uh, yeah, we're going to see how this works. Now, let's actually look here because this requires, this requires, I can't, I don't know what that is. It's, it's the, the, the negative, the negatron stuffs, uh, mass energy storage. So photons can be inverted into antimatter and hydrogen under the effect of a super magnetic field. Now, I believe that we have to go. I think we have to go to a neutron star in order to get this. I think I don't know. I'm not positive. So we'll wait till that gets unlocked and we'll see how that goes. Let's head back to our other planet. There's not a whole lot we can do right here right now because we got to get power. And that's like kind of one of the things I really want to get going here is I want to figure out our power situation because we're gonna be drawing a lot of power and with our uh with our ray receivers not bringing in a whole lot of power that's gonna be an issue it's gonna be an issue um but yeah let's head back to our planet hopefully you guys enjoy if you do like subscribe all the fun things and uh let's go where is my planet i lost my planet planet oh planet where's the star uh this way hey, hey we found it all right cool and our research pretty much already stopped so we're gonna have to figure out uh i think our green research is lacking so let's go see if we can do anything in order to improve that i mean blue red uh gold even purple is not too bad anymore but the green requiring all of the gravity graviton matrix stuff is it's rough yeah i mean as you can see we have purple like getting maxed out right here uh, and yellow's getting maxed out. Red and blue, obviously, those are just fine, too. Well, they should be just fine. Yeah, they look like they're just fine. Okay. So, let's see what we can get. Actually, did I completely disconnect? I think I did. I think I completely disconnected this. Did I disconnect this? Uh, no, it's, it's at demand. It's sitting at demand. Okay. So, uh, let's take a peek here because I want to get this stuff going. All right. So, it's strange matter. It's the strange matter that's our issue. So it looks like we're making enough of this stuff. We just need to make more particle collectors or particle colliders, if you will, in order to actually make more of this. So let's start with that. Let's add a few of those in here. It kind of go from there. What am I missing? Uh, I'm missing some graphene and oh gosh, the super magnetic rings. All right, so three more particle colliders. We'll make those happen now that's probably gonna hurt our uh our duty production quite a bit but i don't know we'll have to see uh looks like everything else is going okay right now i cannot wait to get our new factory planet going it's gonna be great it's going to be marvelous so we only have what we have three research things in total so two thousand and four thousand and then twelve hundred okay so yeah we really got to get the green research going we're gonna need quite a bit of that all right, particle colliders or particle accelerators or whatever the heck those, what are they called? Miniature particle collider. Okay, cool. So uh, let's get this facing all the same way here. Oh, geez. I'm not gonna be able to squeeze it in there. Mm, might need to move this guy. Let's go ahead and move this guy. And then let's go ahead and put it right here maybe. Yeah, that should cover it. Okay, cool. So I guess maybe we're only gonna put two more particle colliders in here. <laughs> Double our production. Are you kidding me? What? What are you colliding with? 
I don't What is it colliding with? It must need another space behind it. Darn it. Uh, I don't think three is going to be enough for this. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So there goes that one. I just don't think three is going to be enough. I think we're going to need another one. You know what? Let's just get rid of this thing. And uh, we'll just put up a tower there. Those things are cool, but like the, the space requirement is kind of a pain, you know? I guess we could always throw it up like right here somewhere. All right. So let's get this one hooked up. We're going to get four of these going. Now, like I said, this is probably going to kill our uh, deuterium a little bit, but oh well, we'll figure it out, you know? All right, can we can we squeeze one in here? Hey, uh, let's actually put it like right here. <gasps> yeah, well, now we could have thrown some over here and we could like, you know, belt this over here and stuff like that uh, if we need to. But I'm going to be kind of curious to see how well four of these goes, because that just doubled our strange matter production, which is going to allow us to make more of these. And the rest of these should go into here supply that and then we have a demand over here right demand okay so we have some coming in over here which is good let's go ahead and put that at 200 and then let's just kind of give this a minute to pick up its pace we might need to get more oh man that's gonna kill the, uh, the, this these are gonna kill the deuterium deuterium uh how many does it require per deal 10 every eight seconds uh oh because we have, well, we got like 5,000 there incoming. How many do we have in our tower over here? Oh, we've got like 10,000 10, over here. Okay, so we should be okay. You know what? Let's go ahead and put it in. Let's go put, let's put some more of these in here. We need, uh, we need to get green research going a little bit quicker. All right, so we've got like eight of these things up. Uh, it looks like something's not powered over here. Let's see, let's throw that in right there. That should cover everything. Okay. So we've got eight of these now instead of two. That's gonna go right through that deuterium so fast, or the duty so fast, but we should be getting a decent amount of stuff going here. Uh, you know what, let's actually do this. I don't want these just chilling on the belt. So we'll do that, that's good. And then we can go ahead and throw the stuff back on the belt as well. So I can just click this guy, open up our this, and then whoop. There we go, perfect. Okay, so hopefully that'll help our green research. We are moved into the second research phase now. We unlocked, what did we do? This, we unlocked the mass energy storage. So let's take a peek at this. Does it does it give me any kind of, okay, what is this? Photons can be inverted into antimatter and hydrogen under the effect of super magnetic field. Cannot make it a replicator. Uh, critical photon, critical state photon can be converted into antimatter and hydrogen under the action of a supermagnetic field. Uh, energy potential, 750 megajoules, made in the ray receiver. Oh, so this is what the ray receiver's for. Oh, okay. So we're going to need to set up some ray receivers to make this. All right. Okay. 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 I get it. I understand it. I don't necessarily like it, but I understand it. <laughs> so we're going to have to do that in order to make those. And now we are researching this, which is going to require uh, those two items. So the ray receiver items are going to be needed in order to make the fuel rod. And then we're also going to need microprocessors and the photon stuff. So that's okay. Not too terrible to make there. And then the artificial star. I'm thinking, like I said, I'm thinking that the artificial star is going to require these antimatter cells. Now, you would think an artificial star would be like a self-sustaining kind of thing. But I'm thinking it's an antimatter fuel rod. Like, that's, to me, that's what it seems like. Because you're unlocking the fuel rod first, and then you're unlocking the, the machine that would, would utilize it. So, awesome. Maybe. Maybe awesome, maybe not. I don't, I don't know. So, what would, what do I need to do here? If I want to start making these, because I need the power too, is the problem. Like, I need these to be making power. That's why they have an output. Uh, photon generation. Yeah. Ugh. Hmm. How come there's no gravitate graviton lens in here? Oh, it's because I have it facing the wrong way. Would you look at that? Oh, shoot. There. Is it good now? Hey, we just happened to look at the one that wasn't good. 
Okay, so, oh geez, how's the power situation? Our power's really, really bad. It's just kind of crazy, because like we have all this Dyson Sphere power, but in order to like pull it, because we're only pulling like not even half of it right now, we'd have to set up like the entire planet with these. We'd have to set up so many of these. How are you looking? I mean, it's still, it's okay. It's not good. These are all producing 25. Hmm. All right, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put an output on this guy. I'm going to run it into this tower right here. And I'm going to I'm going to click you to photon generation. That's pretty cool actually. Wow. Boop. There goes a the photon. Uh, 58 point. Wait, what? How's it converting more power? Wait, what? Why does it pull more power if it's what is it? That's not even fair. <laughs> That's not even fair. Okay, so we're gonna leave that set. Uh, we're gonna put this under where's the photon stuff? This and that's gonna be into supply. And I'm just gonna leave that one there. Now we need to figure out our power situation though, because our power is terrible. What can we do to increase our power? Oh, we could make more uh, of these rods. Make more mini fusion reactors, but I'm still a little worried about our... I'm still worried about the duty. You know what? I, th I think we're just going to make it. I think we're just going to make more on this side, and we're just going to hope for the best. So actually, our problem with these is not even... It's not even the duty or the titanium. It's the stupid magnetic rings. That's what the problem is. You know what? I was making these hydrogen fuel rods for a while to help with the hydrogen. I have 7,000 of them. Let's go throw these over here on our thermal generators. And uh, we'll let those we'll let those get filled up with that for a little bit. <laughs> these thermal generators should help us get our power situation kind of fixed for now. Oh, temporary fixes. I feel like all I'm doing is temporary fixes, you know? Wow, we're not even like throwing stuff over here. Let's throw those in there. Throw those in there. Shoot, I need more. Uh. How come they're not? Oh, they don't take the. F they don't take hydrogen. <sighs> well, darn. That's not gonna work. Will the? Uh, I wonder if the uh, the mini fusion reactors will take this. I'm curious. Will you take this? Wrong fuel type. So, the thermal can't take this, and the mini fusion reactors can't take this. So, what is the point in making hydrogen fuel rods if there is nothing to burn it? Yeah, it's just for mecha fuel power. That's fantastic. Okay, well, that's not a quick fix either. Darn it. All right, so we're, we, we were making enough gravitational lenses. Uh, we were making a lot, and we're bringing them in pretty quick. So, I went ahead and I built a lot more green science. Like, this is way too much. We're not going to be able to keep up with it. And I'm honestly surprised by the sheer height in which you can build on these things. It is insane. It's so high. It's like as high as a satellite deal. Satellite substation is like, we're, we're almost touching that. That's so funny. Um, but yeah, I don't think we're not going to be able to keep this up. But it should give us a little bit of a boost so we can get to where we need to go a little bit quicker. Holy goodness. That is so funny, though. It is so funny at how, like, how high you can build that. I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, as for over here, uh, magnets. Yeah, super magnetic rings. They're uh, a bane of our existence right now, and there's really just not a whole lot I can do about it, unfortunately. Power's looking okay. I did a little bit of repower. Oh, no, it was looking okay. It's not looking okay anymore. Wonderful. But I did a little bit of uh, power shenanigans. I thought it should be looking okay. Uh, basically, I set it so that this tower right here can drain, and all of that can go and get... Uh, get thrown over to those generators because we just don't like i don't need two towers full of refined fuel you know what i mean so uh i'm letting that go over to do its thing i'm really disappointed that the hydrogen fuel rods couldn't be used but mm, i guess it is what it, it is what it is okay so since we are making this stuff now this critical photon we should be able to start making we should be able to start doing this mass energy storage 
So I want to start converting those over. That's going to give us hydrogen and then that negative particle. What is that? Uh, antimatter. It's going to give us antimatter and a hydrogen. Hydrogen and antimatter. Nice. Okay, so we could start playing with that. Honestly, we should just take it right from here. We should just do it right here. Oh, because we don't have to worry about droning it over because it's not, there's not, we're not going to be making a lot of it right away. Um, yeah, let's do that. Let's just set up a, let's set up a thing right here. Wait, is that an assembler? It's not an assembler item. Is that an assembler item? No, that's probably a particle collider item, isn't it? Uh, cannot make a replicator. Particle collider. Okay. All right. So we need to make that in a particle collider, which means I need to make a particle collider. I don't think I have one. Do we have another particle collider on us? We don't. So let's make one of those. I <laughs> stupid magnetic rings. All right. So for the particle collider, let's go and set that over here somewhere. Um, let's see. I'm trying to figure out where we could put this, where I could have a few of them if I need to. I don't want to have it super close over there. We'll put it right here. Great spot. Great spot. And we are going to go ahead and bring this belt over here into that. Now, we're going to have two outputs on this guy. We're going to have the uh, antimatter and hydrogen. So hydrogen, we are going to belt back over here for sure. And I'll just use the belt that we already had right there. So let's bring this up and over this way like that that'll bring that back over there i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna take all of this out and we're gonna set this to clear and reset we're gonna do hydrogen because we're gonna be making hydrogen uh supply and antimatter supply okay cool so we'll just set it up like that super easy nothing crazy perfect wait why is that still uh this filter no uh filter that's not supposed to be that here can we Boop. there we go okay all right looks good so that's gonna go into here and we can go ahead and select you to do this and then we got to set up a couple of these things. So we'll go ahead and do antimatter and hydrogen into there. That's good. That's good. Let's go ahead and get a tower on here. Is that going to cover all these? Should. Should cover them. All right. There it goes. Perfect. And then let's go ahead and let's put these on here wow okay uh we'll go <laughs> we'll go put it over here <laughs> maybe and it's full okay all right so we have we have more of that all right so we are getting antimatter Ooh, antimatter antimatter and hydrogen very nice very nice so with that is what we're going to be making with this right so annihilation constraint sphere okay so that's something completely different that doesn't require either of those this requires both of those and an antimatter constraint sphere and the titan why does this seem like it's going to be easier to make than just like the magnetic rings <laughs> just because so many things need it and then this guy what are you going to need so like we have all of that stuff for the most part. We just don't have these. Um, okay, cool. Well, let's just get everything set up for this. That's gonna be made in assembler and that's gonna be made in assembler as well. So let's get these set up. Um, I'm just gonna leave this one running for now. How's our power looking? Okay, power's okay. And actually we could just do it right here, huh? It's, I mean, we have, we have a little bit of room right here. Yeah, might as well, let's do it. Okay, so let's do... Uh, Let's set up one and two. Do I want to do that actually? Are you making equal hydrogen and equal? Is that an equal, equal one for one? It's two for, yeah, it's a two for two. And each machine, hold on each, hold, we gotta look at our research here. Each of these requires 10 and 10. 
So yeah, one machine should be fine. And we should actually be able to run these right over here. I'm just gonna let them run over here for storage reasons. So that one machine is going to be in charge of making the... Ooh, this tower's full though, isn't it? Oh yeah, but we can pull those out. So it's not even gonna be, that's not even gonna be an issue. Okay. All right, we'll get this. Uh, let me redo this a little bit. We're gonna actually belt these into storage containers. And then from storage containers, we will, uh, yeah, let's just do that. So there to there. And we're gonna change these up a bit. Okay, there we go. So we've got uh, hydrogen in one, we've got the antimatter in another one. And those are gonna go into here to make the thing that we're researching right now that we can't actually make. And then from there, no, that's gonna go into that machine. So we need to make the annihilation constraint sphere somewhere else and bring that in over here, as well as the titanium alloy deal. So actually, we probably should have ran these two in front, these two in back. Yeah, that's probably what we should do. Okay, we'll just go ahead and do that. Hey, controlled annihilation reaction, wonderful. All right, so let's go ahead and let's grab all of those out of there. Let's go ahead and clear and reset those. And we are gonna want to pull this guy. So we're gonna set that to demand uh, like 300 for now. And then we're also gonna need to pull titanium alloy. We're gonna set that as 300 as well. Uh, demand, that'll get over here like immediately. Wonderful. So we're gonna pull those two over here and these two over here and then one line as an output, right? Is this right? I feel like this should work. Okay, cool. We're kind of working backwards a little bit here because we're actually going to utilize this to make the antimatter fuel rods. Okay, so we have all of this stuff set up here. Now, we're not obviously going to have any of those uh, the annihilation cores yet, but that is okay. So we're going to pull from there. We're going to output, input, input. Output there, output there. That should work. Let's go ahead and throw... All of those into there and then hydrogen into there so that's gonna give us all of those and then you're gonna make that so you'll have everything to make this thing one rod one antimatter fuel rod wonderful <laughs> it's gonna be uh this is gonna be interesting and then i'm just gonna throw a storage deal down here for now until we figure out like what the heck we're actually gonna do with this so now we need to make those annihilation cores, annihilation constraint sphere, purpley stuff, and uh, microprocessors. Not terrible. We're actually already making purpley stuff, right? We're pulling purpley stuff right here. Uh, ooh, do I want to pull it away from this though? Maybe. Maybe. Purpley stuff, and you know what? Let's just do it. Let's throw microprocessors on here too. Uh, we're gonna put that in like. 500 and demand those will be over here in a gif now do i want to pull from a separate belt or do i want to use a splitter i think i'm going to use a splitter right here i think that'll keep things a little bit more organized up all right so purpley stuff and those that's actually a really easy recipe i feel like let's go ahead and get a couple of those going in there and then uh do i have do i have a tower spot on one of these Darn it. I don't have a tower spot on one of these. I guess we could just not use a tower. Mm, I don't know if that's a good idea though. I want to get everything on a tower, but I mean, it's literally going from here to there. I'd like to get it on a tower. <laughs> Would really like to get it on a tower. You know what? That's fine. We'll throw it on our own tower. We'll just make a tower for it. I'm sure we'll use it for other things anyways. All right, so let's go ahead and run this there into there. This is going to be these annihilation spheres a supply. I don't want a lot of them. Let's just do like 300 of those. You annihilation sphere. Okay. Curious if we're going to get the artificial start today. I think we will. I don't, I don't see a reason not to. And I'm super curious to see how it's going to work. Like I said, I think it's going to require the antimatter fuel rod. All right, so there goes those. Making the annihilation containment control deals. And then 
We've got this guy over here. I'm actually going to go ahead and delete this belt right there. That way they don't go very far in that because we only have one machine going right now anyways. All you should need, right, is just those. Heck yes. This is super exciting. Uh Oh, do we have drones? Let's throw some drones on here. Boop. There you go. So we have that set to supply. Do we set this to demand on this? Yes. Okay, cool. They're on their way. Ha ha ha. It is time. Okay, so what do we actually... Oh, we don't We don't have the star yet. Almost. Oh, we're so close. <gasps> we're so close to having a star. There went one antimatter fuel rod. We have one. This one cell has 7.5 gigajoules of power. That's more than my entire suit doubled. That one cell. Oh, well, yeah, that's insane. That is crazy. All right, so we'll wait for these to finish. And then we've got an artificial star to build. I'm super excited. Actually, we can see what it takes. Mm. Oh, it's gonna take the annihilation and uh, those annihilation control cores and those and those. That's it. That doesn't seem like very much to get an artificial star going. But it's definitely gonna run off of these. It's it's like no doubt gonna run off of those. All right, let's go grab the stuff for that because we are about done with that research, anyways. Oh, this is gonna be nice. And there we go. The artificial star. You've unlocked the power generation facility. The mini sun. Uh, it can input a tremendous energy of antimatter fuel rods to power the grid in a stable and controllable way. Oh my gosh. Who's excited? I'm excited. We have an artificial star, people. All right, so let's grab the stuff that we need for this. Oh, let's make some. Let's make some. Hopefully it doesn't consume it super fast. It's the only thing I'm worried about. All right, we have artificial stars being crafted as I speak. Let's go over here. Uh... <laughs> this is exciting 75 megawatts of power per deal 75 like that's a decent amount of that's a decent amount of power it's all like because i mean my whole power grid right now is 430 4, 420 400 yeah uh megawatts of power and each one of those artificial suns is 75 that means every two is 150 four of them is 300 power so like that's in that's that's a lot now we do have to be making antimatter so but that i don't honestly think that antimatter is gonna be too bad because right now i'm i need these to pull dyson sphere power which it is pulling dyson sphere power to make 10 of these per minute which is kind of crazy but like that's gonna be our power situation right there which you know what it's it's almost mind-blowing to me no it's not no, it's not. I was going to say, it's like, you know, what's crazy is that this whole thing is called the Dyson Sphere program and our Dyson Sphere is capable of making 1.5 gigawatts of power. Uh, but the power that we're actually using from that is actually to make photons in order to make antimatter in order to power the artificial star. So we are utilizing the power, but we're not utilizing it directly. Uh, we're utilizing it to make antimatter to make other power sources, which are I guess more efficient, but still, oh my gosh, how cool is that? Okay, so there's that. Uh, we should have artificial star. Is that not? Wait, what? Is it still crafting? Oh, it's craft. There it is. Wait, where is it? Uh, what is it under? Is it under Dyson Spear program? Oh, it is. Oh, this is cool. This is cool. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. You have no idea. Uh. All right, so let's throw one here. I don't want to throw. Oh my gosh, no fuel. <gasps> oh my goodness. Do I have some stuff? Let me let me throw some of these down here. I want to be able to see this a little bit better. There we go. This star deserves a, a special place. Okay, so uh, these need fuel. Okay, cool. Can we run conveyor belts through these? in order to make the fuel, you know what I mean? So if I do this and this, and if we go up to here and run it, no, it's colliding with object. Okay, so it's just gonna grab it, is what it's gonna do, okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So we'll put this to here. Who's ready for the artificial star? Because all I have to do is grab these and throw them in here. Oh my gosh. That is super cool. That is so cool. 
conversion rate 100 we have we have way more power now than we ever even needed and look it's not even i mean it's utilizing the fuel rod but it's not utilizing that much of it like look how it's not even taken down that bad <gasps> oh my gosh and then hold on let's go ahead and output that to there there we go holy shamoles we've got it we've we've done the things we're doing the things we're doing the stuff uh what are you missing you're missing hydrogen are you seriously missing hydrogen what is the what's the conversion rate 10 hydrogen 10 why is it 10 10 and 10 but like there's no hydrogen are you not producing 10 10 like two and two at the same time like this should be converting two of those into two of those weird that we have a backup of this but not of hydrogen i mean i could go grab some hydrogen real quick that's that's not even like an issue whatsoever uh where's our hydrogen at oh my gosh our stuff's charging <laughs> you know what i don't even feel like we need these anymore i don't even think we need these anymore we might as well be utilizing our yeah we don't we don't need that we might as well be utilizing our uh our deuterium in order to make strange matter in order to make the gravitational lenses for stuff like that uh in other purposes because we don't need oh uh, we do still need we do still need some of these rods uh for the rockets but i don't think we need these anymore all right so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna grab some hydrogen we're gonna throw hydrogen in here and i want to see how what is the like how what is the burn rate on this do we have any we don't have any in the standby oh yeah we kind of do huh so we are making it faster than we're consuming it and i have a i i imagine i imagine that the more of these we have and the less power load there is the slower these leave and burn anyways uh, let's get another power. Let's get another star in here. Oh my gosh, this is super cool. All right, we'll put you there. We're gonna grab one of these, this to there. Uh, no power, of course. Of course not. Why would you have power? Okay, we're gonna put that there. And then once this one pops one out, it'll go into this one and we'll have even more power. <laughs> oh, 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 I think we're gonna have one. Yep just made one all right uh we're gonna grab hydrogen and throw it in here too because do i have any hydrogen in my backpack no i don't all right there goes that one Shing! oh my gosh look at our power generation 635 megawatts that's amazing now did this slow down at all oh yeah oh yeah it slowed down quite a bit oh my gosh that is crazy artificial stars for the win for sure okay let's go grab some hydrogen real quick all right so we got hydrogen in here so that's good to go that's gonna keep making it until we run out of this um now it looks like we might need to be pulling more of these and honestly now i don't really care because we're not utilizing these for power we're utilizing these to make photons in order to make antimatter in order to make artificial star fuel oh my goodness this is so cool this is so cool i love this game that is like one of the coolest things and actually you know what's crazy we've got universe matrix to unlock and then mission complete congratulations builder of great civilization the primary mission of the dice for program has been successfully complete with your efforts the game will continue after completion oh my gosh artificial stars are insane so that's what we're going to be using on our mega factory planet that is what we're going to be using uh, because our dyson sphere is not even close to completion i mean look at look at this it's it's not even i'd say a percent one percent done maybe two percent i don't know but i want to get a complete dyson sphere now in order to do that we're going to need the mega factory so that is super cool how many do you have nine how many do you have ten okay so it looks like we're making enough to power both of these uh we have plenty of power now i am a little bit worried i'm a little bit worried about deleting taking out these mini fusion reactors um these shouldn't be utilizing hardly any they're really not they're really not using hardly any power right now 
So like, I kind of want to get rid of some of these. That way these can go off to make rockets instead. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and we're going to delete them. Uh, how's my inventory? Okay. Yeah, we're going to delete some of these like that. And then I'm going to go put the third star up and hopefully because power generation. Yeah, power is up to 80 something percent now of usage, which is not great. But we'll go ahead and put this one up here. See, the problem is that like we're on an angle right now. So like that's too far away. I don't think that's going to pull. One, two, three. It's not. We're going to have to have it. Will these daisy chain? Like, can we? Uh, can we daisy chain these? Like that? No. Okay. Won't daisy chain. Well, it might if it's full. Um. Okay. So let's put it. Let's just put it on the other side. Let's put it right over. Actually, we'll just put it up here. Can we put it up here? No. Let's do this. We'll do it like that, and then we'll grab. Uh, this is not going to reach. I already know it. We'll do that. We'll grab a belt. Boop, boop, like that. This there to there, and then there to there. Okay. So we'll let that make three. Now, in order to keep up with the demand, I think we're going to need to swap another one of these over as well to making the photons. So let's do that. All right, so there's that. And then let's go ahead. Photon generation. That's going to make double the photons, which we should get double the stuff. So hopefully this will actually be able to keep up a little bit more with our three stars. Come on, give us the first rod. There it is. There it is. Power load 70%. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. That is the reason for the Dyson Sphere. You know, I've this whole time I've been wondering, I was like, why can we not pull that power from the Dyson Sphere? It's because you're not supposed to pull it directly. Because as you can see, this is using 125 megawatts now. That's using 125 megawatts. So like that's using a lot more of the Dyson Sphere than us just converting it to energy. So that is, oh, super exciting. Super, super exciting. But there you go. There you have it. We have artificial stars. You can bet. This is what's going to be powering our base because we have right here. We've got 150, what, 225? That's is that 225 megawatts of power right there? Mm, I think so. I think it is. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. <laughs> I love it. But yes, thank you again for coming out. Hopefully you had a fantastic time. I had a blast and uh, we've got artificial stars. Artificial stars, power for the wind. That's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be utilizing this for the, uh, the, the planet, the factory planet for sure. And I can't wait. That's gonna end it. Thank you again for coming out. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Like I said, we will be streaming on Friday, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh, we're gonna be working on the mega factory planet for sure. But thank you again. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everybody.